So we just leaving Roscoe's with none other than What's Hector. Up? I keep looking over here. I'm not right. used to it. I'm not used the to it. The funny thing is I was looking up here on yours. Yeah. And like I would catch myself like because I know I know not to look right right here or right here. And I just did a vlog about that, so I'm kinda of upset about myself. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so you, that's you know that's why Casey needs that wears glasses. You guys know that, right? Yeah. And so you can always keep an eye on what's going on in this little You don't side even screen. know what he's doing. Nope, you don't know what he's doing. So while we were eating, because uh, we're creatives and we were talking about the food a lot, but we were also talking about blogging and YouTube in general. So I want to just like touch bases on a few things we were speaking on. So like, I know one of the main things you were saying was the six minute rule. That stuck out to me. Can you just share with people, because this right. can help their vlog. The most of the time that I've been vlogging, I thought that, all right, the longer the video, the better. I was like, all right, YouTube's going to look at you like, all right, you got a 10 minute video, you could throw an extra two ads in there. So that's that was, that was my whole mentality. And then I met a guy named Cody Warner. Um, you guys, you might even hear about him. He was, he, was on the, uh, he was on the trending page of YouTube last week. So he was literally <laughs> on the front page of YouTube. Front now, page. Cody talked about this and in, in, he made a video and so it was telling pretty much Peter McKinnon, hey, your videos are too long. I don't have 12 minutes a day to watch your video. Cut it down to six minutes. And Cody lives by the six minute rule. And since I have gone daily, I started implementing the six minute rule into my video because I'm like, I don't have enough time to edit a 12 minute vlog every single day. Right. It's impossible. I mean, and, and, and so I started doing the six minute vlog. And so there you go. I'm, I'm having to compress everything into six minutes. So now I, I find myself picking my shots. I find myself, you know, kind of just planning out my vlog a little bit better because mm -hmm. before I would go all willy nilly and I'd have, I'd be filming here, I'd be filming there, <laughs> and I'd end up with like 60 gigs of video for for a vlog. And now it's like, all right, cut that. Down. Now I'm like maybe 15, 20, min 20 gigs of, you know. Plus, I'm, I'm doing it every day, so I mean, it's the Man. memory's racking up anyways. I'm, I'm already out of my hard drives, but yeah, but yeah six man. minutes. Um, if you're gonna, you know, if you're gonna go daily, keep it fast. I mean, these people are gonna see you every day. You got, you got tomorrow to tell them what you couldn't tell them today, mm -hmm. and and yeah, and then if it's six minutes, you got enough time to do it. You got enough time to put them out every sure day. Do. Sure do. This camera keeps this guy in shape. This guy, man. look at that, just just holding this beast up right if now. If y'all can see my veins, that's another thing is that you don't want the camera down here, it's comfortable. You'll see a lot of my vlogs like this because I'm vlogging all day and it eventually will fall. But one subject I want to touch on is that, like you said, you just started going daily. And when yeah. I first thought about going daily, it just seems like I can't do it. It's like, it's way too much. The but task you broke it down. seems unimaginable, yeah. unfathomable. But you broke it down to where now I'm like, at first I was like, hmm, I may do that, but now I'm like, I'm gonna do it. You're gonna do it. <laughs> gonna do it. Dude, see this? Look at this. You don't know where inspiration's gonna come from. Like, you know, Tyrell and I come over here, we get some chicken, we get some waffles with some hot sauce. Hot sauce. And then all of a sudden now, Tyrell's gonna go daily. Look at this. Daily. Now, this is what I was talking to Tyrell about. Like, if you're going daily, you're shoving your content down your subscribers' throats. <laughs> it's like, you guys don't have a chance to not see me now. Gotta I don't care you. if you didn't see my video yesterday. Today, I'm back up on top of your <laughs> subscriptions and, and I'm throwing it down your face. You gotta come see me. You're looking gotcha. at me every single day. And so I think that's gonna be good for the engagement rate. I think it really is. And I think also too, I think the way you've gone about getting your subscribers, you're not doing the whole sub for sub thing. You're not going yeah. over there and commenting on somebody. Hey, you know, come come check me out. You know, <laughs> everybody that's here, all 300 and something subscribers, right? You got 300 and something now? You, those are legit subscribers. People that are interested in you for what you're doing and what in the product that you're putting out there. Mm -hmm. So I think by going daily, you're just going to be feeding the beast. Everybody, I know I'm down for it. I know I want to see your stuff, and I'm and I'm crazy busy. I barely have time <laughs> to watch stuff, but. You know, I got the bell rung, and even if it's on my big TV, and I'm not dropping comments, you know, it's while I'm editing. I know I'm watching your stuff, and and I'm and, I, and if you're going daily, man, I, I, I can, I'm not gonna be able to get enough of this. So. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely, I'm definitely gonna go daily, because like I said, what made sense for me is that if you break it down to six minutes, it's breaking down the time that you have to edit. Like right now, I'm editing three hours, and I have other projects that's taking hours. If it's gonna take 30 minutes for me to edit. 
Like that's a no-brainer. That's a no-brainer for me in my arm in weeks. Let me. And, and one more thing I want to touch on with going daily, and, and and this took me a little bit of time to to you know I I needed someone to tell me this is every video doesn't have to be the video that breaks the internet. Mm -hmm. I mean even if you're just checking in and you're telling somebody you know this is this is what I'm feeling today. This is this is how I feel and this is this is what I feel like accomplishing. You know you, you, as long as you're getting your your point across, you know it doesn't have to be a big old cinematic you know blockbuster it could just be you because that's what people are here to see they're here to see you and and everybody here on YouTube mm -hmm. I don't care if you've got a cooking channel in Zimbabwe or <laughs> if you've got a vlog in Los Angeles or Dallas there's there's millions of people out there that are waiting to find you so everybody's got their audience uh, you've got your audience they just haven't seen you yet and I was talking to Daniel Pasquale about this One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, nine. And it's, it's like I was telling I'm like yeah you know Tyrell's stuff is it's quality. It's it's you know it's better than a lot of other people who have literally thousands and thousands and thousands of subscribers more than you. And I think I you know your craft is coming together and I think with you, I think you just haven't been exposed to everybody yet. Yeah. I think as soon as everybody sees you, luck favors the prepared. This guy he's prepared and you once you get your lucky shot. Shirt. I need to get that on a shirt. That'd be a dope shirt. So one, this may be the last. I know you probably have to get home and edit. I, I can't even. I can't even. Uh, time right now doesn't even exist to me. This oh, is man. like this is my element right now. This, this is, is this awesome. is what I live for. This is what I came to LA for. And race cars like and race cars. Oh, he slowed down when he saw the camera. We got a camera <laughs> shot. <laughs> but a key point is individuals think they have to be at a certain place because looking on the outside in, I'm like, man, if I was in LA. I would be able to just, you know, blow up. And after talking to you about it, the community here isn't what I thought it would be. Like how you explain it. And it's a kid like that's in Thailand. He has a million, a million subscribers or more. And there is, I don't even know if there's internet everywhere out there, but he has a million. So it's nothing to do with the location. And he doesn't even talk. So it's not even anything to do with voice. It's just about you consistently dropping good content I feel it's about harnessing your you you know like doing you the best mm -hmm. you can you know I've said this before you know and, and, I, was, and I was saying this when I did the transition from I, cause I used to be I used to think I was a family channel and then and then I'm like all right wait what am I doing I'm like this is my <laughs> vlog let's just let's make it Hector vlogs and I'm like I'm gonna do me and I'm gonna do me well. I'm not gonna put any limitations on me. I'm not gonna try to turn myself into something I'm not. And I'm not gonna try to create content that I think you guys wanna watch. I'm gonna create the content that naturally comes out. And if you come to me, you're here for me, right? Exactly. The same thing for you, you know? Make what you, do what you do, do it well, and your, and your, your fan base will find you. Exactly. And that's the key thing that you said, natural. Because anything that you do natural, out your heart, or passion, other people will catch on because people know when you're faking it or when you're doing something that you don't really want to do. If you don't have a subject you really want to talk about and you do it, I can almost guarantee it's not going to do what you expect it to do because people can read that. They can see that in the first like 30 seconds of the vlog, like yep. he's not into it. And if you're not into it, why would I be into it? Why would I watch it? Exactly. So, man. so Tyrell, I am so excited for you, man. I, I can't wait to see what's in your future, man. I can't wait to see what happens from forcing your creativity out by going every day, by forcing yourself to think outside the box, to plan things, to organize your vlog better, to, to ah, I just can't wait, man, I can't wait. This, is, this, is, this has been incredible. Thank you so much for, for meeting up with me here, man. Man, I appreciate you waiting for me to get here. I appreciate the conversation, the waffles, and like, if you guys are here at Roscoe's, you have to get the Obama yes. special. Get the wings. You get the wings. You put the wings on the waffle. <laughs> you get the hot sauce. Yeah, that's the hot what sauce. this is. Get the hot sauce. You get the. You this get is it. the butter right here. Yes, that's the butter. <laughs> you mix it all together, and then it's fantastic. Is that a meat? Hector, can you do the honor? What's up, guys? I'm Hector Rodas from Hector Rodas Vlogs. You're watching Tyrell Greenlee. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, and don't forget to share. Wait a minute, what else? Oh, hit that <laughs> bell button too! You know what? I may make that the standard closing of the vlog. There you go! Look at that! Inspiration is all around us. You never know when it's gonna hit. <laughs> and matter of fact, before you guys leave, make sure you, it's right here, right? Right here, 
I'm gonna put his channel here, subscribe. Also in the description below, it'll be a link to his last video. Make sure y'all go drop it. Let him know that you came here from this page. And let's keep going. Let's Can't keep wait going. to see you guys. Awesome.